Hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's Roast Review, and this week we are doing Caribou Coffee Obsidian. Obsidian is a dark roast, which is a lot different from all the light roasts we've been doing, so this will be really interesting, and it's described as velvety, smooth, and bittersweet. What I really like on the offset is that they describe exactly what their coffee is supposed to taste like, so that's a thumbs up already. If you haven't already checked out the last couple of reviews, I have a four-step process of how I grade my coffee. Number one is presentation, based on aesthetic and how it looks. Number two is brew. How does it go through the Keurig? Is it a smooth pour? Number three, aroma. How does it smell? And obviously number four is taste. So those are four facets I use for Ryan's Roast Review. And without further ado, let's get roasted. All right, starting out with presentation. As far as the design goes, I really enjoy the blue throughout the box uh, and the elegant white designs throughout it. Um, very, very elegant, very simplistic, but very, very nice. I love the Caribou logo. Another cool thing is that they are Rainforest certified, meaning they are very environmentally conscious. They're very protective of wildlife and they comply with a bunch of agricultural standards. So that's really cool. And the one thing that really caught my eye was the description on the side of the box and it reads as followed. At Caribou Coffee, we've always wanted to give you a way to bring a piece of our coffee houses into the world. And while we prefer you don't take any of our decor off the wall or snag an espresso machine, our famous coffee beans have been granted permission to explore the world at their own leisure. So take them home, take them to the cabin, take them hitchhiking across the country if that's your thing. The important thing is not where you drink our coffee, it's what it inspires you to do. Life is short, stay awake for it. That message alone is worth this score, but as far as presentation goes, I'm gonna give Caribou Coffee Obsidian a nine. All right, on to the brew. As far as the brew went, there was a little sputtering and stopping at the start, but overall a very nice brew. To be perfectly honest, I am thinking about phasing out the brew part of the roast review, simply because the cake up seemed to work pretty well once I do my water batches, but uh, if you guys really want me to do the brew, just let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'm thinking of phasing it out. But as far as brew goes, I'm gonna give Caribou Coffee Obsidian an eight. Now it's time for step number three, which is aroma. How does it smell? The box describes it as being velvety, smooth, bittersweet. Smooth and bold flavors of luscious wild berries and bittersweet chocolate. Okay, so we have some flavor notes to go off of. Question is, does it hit it? Let's, uh, let's give it a smell and find out. Oh yeah. A little bittersweet. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Definitely getting a little hint of berry, maybe like a very distinct sour berry. I'm not sure obviously what kind of berry it is, but um, it smells great. Um, the aroma really carries up and you can, I can smell it from here, it's, it's great. So as far as aroma goes, I'm gonna give it an eight. So it says velvety, smooth, bittersweet, luscious berries, bittersweet chocolate. We got a lot of flavor notes to work with and see what we get out of it. But without further ado, let's give it a taste. Ooh. Definitely acidic, which you can taste in a lot of dark roasts. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. I'm getting a slight hint of those. Velvety and smooth, absolutely. Bittersweet, definitely. So those check out 100%. As far as the berries and the chocolate, maybe a little bit of the chocolate, but that berries is in the aftertaste. You get that acidity from the berries. So as far as the flavor notes and how they compare, they're pretty spot on. They're not as strong as I would have liked, but a very nice sipping coffee. It's a little acidic, but this is, um, this is very nice. Mm. Mm-hmm. That's very good. I would frequent that. So, as far as the taste goes for Caribou Blend Obsidian, I am going to give it a eight. 
What a fantastic coffee. The presentation was fantastic. The brew went very well, great aroma, and a very nice taste. So overall, for Kiribu Obsidian, this is very daring for me, but I'm gonna give it a nine. Probably one of the better dark roasts I've had in a very long time. I've had no problems with it. The brew was great, the presentation is great. I get the feeling of exactly what it wants to do. The taste is great, it smells great. Get it, 100% this is a must have for your brew. So thank you so much for stopping by Ryan's Roast Review. And until next time, keep on roasting.